In the last 15 months, I've measured over 200 players, and 72% of my students have been upper core players. So here are some characteristics of what upper core players do. Number one, from setup, we are going to have the narrowest stance. As far as our posture goes, we are going to have the most spine tilt, and that will put the weight in the balls of our feet. And just to go over the core regions again, low core is pelvic floor to navel. Navel to sternum is mid-core. Sternum to the roof of our mouth is upper core. So I'm an upper core player. If we put numbers to this, low core would be 1, 2, 3. Mid-core would be 4, 5, 6. And then upper core, 7, 8, 9. I am a 9. I am the top of the upper core. So my tendencies match the majority of my students. As far as the swing is concerned, the most important things are to set up with your hip square. You can see my left knee here, so that means that my hips are square. When an upper core player sets up with his hips open, he cannot get the rotation in the trail hip or the right hip and pivot around his front post or front leg. Very little lateral motion in the backswing for an upper core player. If your hips are open, you're going to sway too much with the lower body and not be able to get that right hip turned. We look at the backswing from the down the line view. You're going to see that the right hip starts with the club. And the right hip gets a good turn. You can see my left arm here pretty much on plane at the top of my swing. Now, the second key is to not turn early from the top. If somebody turns early from the top, they are going to get over the top of the plane. So I did this in last month's video, but here I am at the top, and you can see if I turn early and get the club steep, now I'm in trouble as an upper core player. So very important in this first move where the lower body shifts that the club drops straighter down. It will go out some, but it's got to drop straighter down. You will see as my lower body starts to shift, I, there is a shift. Look at my lateral motion. That's the magic move Harvey Pinnock talked about. So there's the shift to the left side. You can see the left hip now further forward than it was at address. And if I let the club come down, you can see the club coming down and getting on plane or just about on plane there coming down. Very important to get that club on plane. So an upper core player turning early and trying to use his chest to turn through the ball and hips, not what we do. We have to, after this shift, let the club swing past our body and then that momentum of the club and our arms, hands, and wrists will pull our body around. So we, in essence, have to swing the club with our arms, hands, and wrists and allow the bigger muscles, the hips and shoulders, to follow. You will see in the down the line here that as the club comes down, there's the club pretty much on plane in the delivery window when the shaft's parallel to the ground. I really don't care what kind of player you are. Very important to have the club head on plane coming into the ball. And from here, now it's time to use the hands to create speed and let the club go and let the club swing past us and pull our body around to the finish. If you would like more information and to get fitted and learn if you're an upper, mid, or lower core player, please visit my website, LarryRinker.com. You can get in touch with me there, and I'd love to work with you and help you with your game. Thanks.